What's up everyone, Matt here, and today we're talking about Isotope's latest plugin, Neutron 4. The Neutron 4 Mothership plugin and Neutron 4 Visual Mixer plugin offer intelligent assistive features to help you mix smarter and not harder. From a smart assistant that helps you make broad mixing decisions early in your mix workflow, to the tone match slider that can sculpt your sound based off a preset or your own personal upload, and the latest intent controls to help you simplify multi-parameter control changes with the turn of a single knob. Neutron 4 is the ultimate all-in-one mixing plugin. I'll be honest, I've been using Neutron for ages, but the extent of my usage is mainly to take my kick, sidechain it to my bass, and duck my low end three to four decibels around 100 hertz. Now, Neutron 4 has a ton of new and crazy features, but today I wanna to talk about the one feature that has me the most excited due to its simplicity and functionality. And that feature is the unmasked component. So let's jump straight into this. First, let's play back the track we're gonna work on. This is my previous workflow with Neutron 3. I would sidechain my kick to the 808, and this is how it sounds. You can see every time the kick hits, it ducks the low end a bit. But the process to set this up is you'd have to start a low shelf band, set the frequency you want it to respond to, the gain of how much you want it to duck, turn on the dynamics, set your threshold, then turn on sidechain and set it to external. From here, you'd go up to the sidechain input and select the track that you want it to sidechain from. Now that is a lot of steps just to sidechain a kick drum to a bass with a generic frequency. Let's add Neutron 4 and do the exact same thing with the new unmasked component. Here we are, first thing I'm gonna do is hit the little plus to add a component, select unmask. I'm gonna go to the top corner, select my sidechain input, which is the kick drum, and let's hit play. You can actually see it showing me the frequencies of the kick drum that are overlapping the bass. Let's turn up the overall amount it's going to compress by adjusting this parameter here. The sensitivity is basically input threshold and determines at which level the processing will begin. Other than that, you have two simple parameters, attack and release. I'm gonna make some minor adjustments too. And now let's talk about one of my favorite features, which are the range selectors. These let you adjust which frequency specifically you want to compress, and you can select them within a certain range. The reason I think this is such an upgraded feature is because every kick drum is different and now that I can pull out the exact frequency from my bass, it's going to give me the cleanest mix possible. Let's compare the original signal, Neutron 3 and Neutron 4. The biggest difference is how the kick drum continues to have that punch with Neutron 4. Now let's do the same thing with my piano and brass. First, let's solo the piano. Let's add in the brass. And while these don't sound terrible together, let's add Neutron 4 and see if we can make them sound better in the mix. 
selected on the unmasked component, I'm gonna go ahead and select my sidechain bus from my horn group. Not only can you instantly hear a difference, I'm just gonna make some adjustments while it's playing. This already sounds amazing just like this, but let's go ahead and try Neutron 4's Assistant and see what it can do for our mix. With the track playing, I'm gonna select the Assistant. What's crazy here is by listening and knew it was a piano, selected the preset, and already made some adjustments to my sound. Let's adjust the tone match slider and see how it affects the sound even more. When it's at 100%, you really hear the piano punch through the mix. Now let's play with these intent knobs. You have punch, which does some compression, distortion, and the width. That really makes such a huge difference. You can definitely hear the piano coming around the outsides of the mix. So now let's compare on and off. Now, if you're not using Neutron, I definitely recommend checking it out over on Isotope's website. Hit me with a like or a sub for the algorithm. If you dig the video, let me know in the comments below and stay tuned for more videos coming out soon. Neutron 4. I don't know what, I don't know why I did that. Ne Neutron 4. No, I did it again. I don't, ne Neutron 4. Oh, 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 oh,